to giving homeless tents and camping gear. Now the problem in Bangor is there's a city ordinance against public camping in Bangor. New Center's Hannah Deneen joins us now with the details. Hey Hannah. Hey guys, good morning. Bangor police want people to reconsider how they donate to the homeless, suggesting donating camping gear is not the best use of their money. But the woman spearheading the camping gear donation efforts in Bangor says she'll never stop. It's a debate over enablement as people on different sides of the argument think their approach is what's best. We keep the car loaded with tents and sleeping bags, tarps, and other miscellaneous things that the shelters will need for the homeless. Ann Sweeney runs a volunteer organization called Hope for the Homeless. She visits Bangor's homeless shelters every single day. Humanity tells me I have to do this. Her organization donates nearly 40 tents a month to homeless people in Bangor. In Ann's eyes, tents and camping gear are the best short-term solutions to Bangor's housing problem. There's not enough beds in Bangor. Where are they to go? The Bangor Police Department wants them to go into more permanent housing. What we're really asking for is to exchange some of the money and the financing that goes into supplying all that gear and refocus that on a housing opportunity. Bangor Police spokesperson Wade Better says officers visit the homeless encampment sites on nearly a daily basis. He thinks people would reconsider donating camping gear if they saw what he's seen. Rotting tents and damaged gear or stained clothing, things that are just abandoned. You know, human waste, piles of it. The Bangor Police Department feels camping enables the homeless. As a camping model, based on what I've seen, it does help to some degree, but it also helps people stay stuck in that same lifestyle. The department thinks if tents were less readily available, the homeless would be motivated to find long-term housing solutions. Eddie is homeless. What they should do is open up more facilities for, for the homeless. They don't want to see the homeless on the street or they don't want to see tents build a couple of more facilities. That is all your problems right there. But the director of the Bangor Area Homeless Shelter doesn't think tents are going anywhere soon. But I do think that the tents are a necessity, and I don't think that they enable people to stay homeless longer. I think it helps them to survive sometimes. The Bangor Police Department tells me it takes a fairly relaxed approach to the city ordinance banning public camping. Officers say they only break up homeless encampments when there's been multiple public complaints or they've been notified of a violent incident there. Lee and Shannon, back to you.